Hey guys, we are going to start with body fluids and circulation, which is a part of the human physiology in class 11. So, what is blood? When we speak about blood, we can say that it is basically a fluid connective tissue. So it runs throughout our body. It is a fluid, that is, it is a watery substance, and it is having some components which are essential for the survival and for the transport inside our body. Now, what is blood actually made of? What are its components? So, all the components of blood can be categorized into three major groups. So, the first one is fluid matrix. The second one is plasma, which is actually the fluid part. And the third one is or are the formed elements. Now, the formed elements, these are all the cellular components. Cellular components. So, these are the major components throughout the blood. Now, if we take a deeper dive and look into the components. Now, let's say you take blood from someone and you use a machine called a centrifuge that spins the blood at high speed and the components are separated according to their weight or density. Now, the yellow part that you can see over here, the yellow part, this is the fluid part of the plasma. Right? The next part, which is kind of grayish in color over here, this is the, this is the layer where the white blood cells and the platelets are present. And finally, the red color portion at the bottom, this is where the RBCs are present. Right, so the first part, this is the fluid part, which is the plasma. The second part, which is also sometimes called the buffy coat. So let me write it down over here. This is the buffy coat. So the buffy coat, which contains the WBCs or the white blood cells and platelets. And finally, the most dense of all the components, that is the RBC or the red blood cells. Now we're going to go into details with each of these components, whether it be plasma or WBC or platelets or RBC in the following uh, sections. Now starting off with plasma. So, like I said, the plasma, it is a straw-colored fluid which constitutes uh, nearly about 55% of the whole blood. And 90 to 92% of this plasma, of plasma, is actually nothing but water, which is giving it the fluid consistency. And apart from water, the six to eight percent that is remaining of plasma is actually composed of different kinds of proteins. And you might have heard about these proteins. These are proteins like um, fibrinogen, a major protein which is required in the blood clotting. 
and also some albumins are present and some globular proteins called globulins. So this is a typical component of the blood plasma. And um, if we talk about the function of these proteins that are present in the plasma, like I said, fibrinogen, this is having a function which helps in clotting. The second one, globulin. Now, this helps in um, the defense mechanism. And by defense mechanism, I mean globulins are, uh, I mean, the antibodies that are present in our body, uh, those are basically some proteins which are immunoglobulins. So that is where globulin comes in, the defense mechanism. And finally, albumin. Albumin basically helps in maintaining, maintaining the osmotic balance. Now, apart from all this, the plasma also has, the plasma also has some minerals like calcium ions or sodium ions, magnesium ions, HCO3 minus, Cl minus and other these type of nutrients. Another component that is present in the plasma, these are, you know, some trace elements of glucose, amino acids, and lipids. These are also present in the plasma. Finally, the plasma also has something which is called the coagulation factors. which are of course present in its inactive form because you know you do not want the blood to clot inside your body they are only activated when it, they are exposed to the environment which is outside the body when there is a cut these factors they get they becomes they become active from the inactive form now, you might have heard about something called the serum. And, you know, there is a significant difference in serum and plasma. So, if we simplify that, if we do not go into a lot of details, basically what serum is, serum is nothing, but if you take the plasma and you eliminate the clotting factors, eliminate the clotting factors and you get the serum. So serum is plasma minus the clotting factors. So this was all about the plasma.